How's everybody doing today? My name is Lycan, and today we are reviewing the movie The Outsider. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so I can see our latest videos. You heard what she said. Okay, so the movie The Outsider, uh, it, was, it was released on March 9th. Uh, it's a movie about a, a uh, ex-military um, uh, person who's pretty much in Osaka, Japan. This is um, close to about 1950s. And pretty much he gets into it with the Yakuza. And, you know what I'm saying, pretty much a story untold from there. If you're really deeply into, like, gangster movies, this is kind of like a gangster movie, but it strips away, you know, all of the L.A. gangs or the New York gangs or stuff that we're accustomed to, like, you know, like, like, the mafia, like Italians and stuff like that. And it branches it more into like the uh, the Yakuza. And you really don't see that a lot. The movie, if you look at it firsthand, you wouldn't think it's it's actually exciting, but this movie was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm sorry to say the movie was pretty great. Great, greatly written. You can actually uh, get a feel for a lot of the characters, even though you might think that there's a language barrier, they, they have subtitles. And it's not all, you know, Japanese. It's a perfect blend of, you know, uh, English and Japanese as well. The actual story was great. I love the action scenes. There's a lot of parts in the movie that you don't think is going to happen, but it ends up happening. Pretty much this dude is pretty much a badass. His name is Nick. He's played by Jared Leto. Um, he... Uh, Jared Leto recently played uh, Joker in uh, Suicide Squad, and you you really, like, this was a role I didn't think I could see Jared Leto uh, really excel in, but he surprised me. He surprised me. He made me feel even more badass, you know what I'm saying, after watching. It's kind of like watching um, something close to, um, to uh, John Wick. Something close to John Wick, not as extreme as John Wick. But it's something close. I highly recommend watching this movie. The movie's on Netflix, so if you have a subscription, I think you guys should go ahead and uh, check that movie out. It's a movie you can watch with maybe not kids. I would just say just your wife and, you know, families and friends. But I wouldn't think this is suited for the kids. I don't think they'll understand the concept. It's more for a for a more mature mind. Uh, and, just, and just pay attention to the character development. Uh, so many things happen that you don't think uh think is going to happen so i don't want to spoil anything i just want to give you guys like a brief overview of this actual movie and to tell you that the movie is actually worth the watch so liken gives it a stamp of approval go ahead and watch this movie if you've seen it already jot down in the comments what your favorite part is if you haven't seen it and then you go watch it let me know if i made the right choice and recommended this movie to you i don't review a lot of movies so i just review mostly movies that I pretty much uh, see that captured me. And if you want me to review any other movies, I'll check them out on my spare time and I'll shoot you guys a review. So have fun watching Jerry Leto's new movie, The Outsider. It's a hit. See you later. Like it out. Where's the goddamn button? You heard what she said.